To draw the Lewis structure for IBr3 iodine tribromide, let's count the valence electrons up. Iodine group 17, sometimes called 7A, has seven valence electrons. And bromine, in the same group, it also has seven valence electrons. But we have three of them, so let's multiply that by three. And that gives us 28 total valence electrons for the IBr3 Lewis structure. So we'll put iodine at the center, and then we'll put the three bromines around it. We have 28 total valence electrons for iodine tribromide. Let's put electron pairs between atoms to form the chemical bonds. And then we'll go around the bromines here and complete their octets. At this point, we've used 24 valence electrons, and we have four more valence electrons left. So we can put those around the iodine, which can have an expanded octet. So iodine can have more than eight valence electrons. In fact, in this case, it has 10. Each of the bromines, they have eight valence electrons, so their octet is complete. And the central iodine, it has two, four, six, eight, ten 10 electrons, but that's okay because iodine can have an expanded octet. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for IBr3, iodine tribromide. Thanks for watching.